All right, guys, I'm back. I'm doing all I can. I'm down to the wire, and I just got one more bombshell dropped on me. We have a, one of our main tech guys on our phone lines is out indefinitely, and so I've got to pick up the slack for him, or at least help pick up the slack for him on our phone lines. At the end of the day, your phone calls, your supporting us as a business is why I can do these videos. It's twofold, obviously, these videos help you, but most importantly, if you guys aren't calling in and you guys aren't buying in, if you guys aren't getting the help when your guys are calling in, I can't continue to do these videos. So at this point, I may not have an engine to go to MP's engine battle with, which is gonna be a shame, but that's just the reality of it. I'm gonna be doing all I can, staying late and working as hard as I can to try and get this done, Along those lines, I may not be videotaping all of this simply because the time constraints of trying to have an engine at Empey on June 11th through 11th, 12th, 13th, up until their open house. It is what it is. I'm going to try all I can to make sure I have an engine there. Whether or not I film it all, I'm going to try to. Whether or not it's worth watching, I don't know. I, obviously, I can set up a camera and just have it rolling while I'm doing all this stuff, but I like to be able to at least put some personality into the video, which I may not have an opportunity to do. At this point, again, I've got the engine case back. Uh, it's opened up for our 92 millimeter thick wall pistons and cylinders. Thanks to Don's for doing this. Guys down there, super friendly, super helpful, super quick turnaround. They cut my case open, as well as I had my cylinder heads fly cut to lower the amount of cc's uh, to basically bump up the compression ratio for more performance that's going to create other headaches that again due to my time constraints i may not be able to overcome and actually have this engine running safely uh, for mp's engine battle but i'm going to try so cylinders fit awesome i need to go through and make sure that all of our lifters fit smoothly our cam drive gear fits smoothly. I need to get the thrust set on our cam bearing. And then I need to rinse out this case and all the other parts. And then I can start putting the short block together. And then I can start setting the rocker geometry, which again, because of the lift of this camshaft, I might have to notch these pistons. We'll, we'll see how it goes, guys.